Is, is Brown still being traded? All the stuff you talked about last night. L- listen, this is again. You can ask a question without being on the trade Jalen Brown bandwagon. J- Jeff Goodman theorized that if you can get him for Bradley Beal, then you he would do that. It is a perfectly reasonable debate to have. It is not one where Celtics no. fans Celtics fans heads should fall off. No, no it is because with Celtics is, fans, with oh Celtics my god, I'm so here, triggered. What Celtics fans here is Goodman saying, that, Jalen Brown that, right now, like, get it done." Yeah. That's what they heard. Yeah. So freaking funny. Like my god, guys. Like he just asked, Bobby, did you do it again? You did it again, didn't you? I did. You forgot. What? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm oh, good. I thought he left. Yeah, I'm like, yo, you didn't even, you didn't say you were leaving yet. Watch. Where is he? he just come on on. Come on. Come in, Bobby. Is he going to the locker room? Watch. No, Bobby, too, is going to come in now. <laughs> Watch this guy. This, <laughs> is, stu- this, this is studio, that was Bobby. A, that was a seamless transition. You did that well this time. This, this is studio, Bobby. Um, but I mean, my God, did people get triggered over that? It's just a, right, you're uh, basically let, suggesting let me, you're suggesting trading Jalen Brown too. theoretically for the for the for the top scorer in the NBA, a guy who's gotten better for five straight years and is an All Star, possible first team All NBA player this year. And it was the craziest thing anybody's ever heard. Like I'm not saying I support it. I actually think it is a lateral move. No, I think I think what you said is valid. And I yeah. said this back on Sunday for the first time in all this year, like everybody's head exploded across Celtics nation because it is pretty big coming from me. I, I'm the biggest Brad guy going. I actually had to take this to some of my other Celtics groups and be like, guys, like I'm worried. I'm worried about this guy right now. The results are the results and the season is heading toward a dangerous place. You know, you can deal with all that. I, in, in general, I'm not an advocate of anybody getting fired in the COVID year. I think it's a pass for coaches across sports with a lot of the weird stuff going on. What worried me is the reaction of the team. Because if the team stops believing in him, there's nothing you can fix there. There's no going back. And yeah. you, you've seen it at times this year. The big bomb quote, Gary Washburn, much earlier in the season, the team has tuned him out. What does that mean? We tossed it around all year. I think we've seen on certain nights what that looks like. Now, there's nights like tonight where they're locked in and they execute the game plan fantastically. Other nights, and I think in the aggregate this season, when you look at what Brad Stevens' teams look like in the past, pace, defensive connectivity, tons of passing, none of it's there this year. They are completely uh, unbecoming of a Brad Stevens team. So oh, they're not worthy. What- that's that's what worries me. <laughs> we are not worthy to be coached by you, Brad. No, worried or not worried. Just the funny thing to me with the with the you know the... John's funny. <laughs> like how, how, we how are dare not they, worthy. How dare they go coach? off the script? They're not we the... are not worthy. <laughs> no, but the, the Brown conversation is so funny that people like won't dare to have it. You see you see things like Jalen Brown's super efficient. Yeah, so the frick is Bradley Beal, okay? Yeah, Bradley, he doesn't play defense. Okay, but he passes. Like, he does other things, too. He's six years older. No, he's three years older. He's on a bad team. All right, come Washington, on, no, John. Washington How are you going to say this ten- when you're no on the deal? Well, I'm saying, let's not say it's ridiculous. Washington is a, yeah. they're like, oh, he's a good player on a bad team. Washington's the 10 seed, has beaten Boston twice, and they're only four games back in the loss column. I got and news for you. And they're the hottest you. team in the game right now. <laughs> I got news for you. He's one player on that team. You've got two of them on this team. There's no excuse for the Celtics I, to be only four games better than Washington. That should tell you what yeah, he's see, doing for that team. But see, that's so what's, that's please what's... don't say it's a ridiculous conversation. It's definitely one that you can have. I actually don't support it, but the absolute yeah. just people got bananas. Like, did anyone? I just think did, you guys. How are dare Jeff Goodman suggest it? No, it's but the totally reason reasonable the, the to reason discuss. for the outrage is yeah. it just completely ignores the strides Brown has made this year. It does Again, not. If you, if if we asked this before the season, you have the chance to trade for Harden. You have the chance to trade for Beal down the line here, and you have to flip Brown. I think if you just say that in general, everyone goes, yeah, you probably do that deal. Now, if you add the caveat and what has actually happened this year, that Brown's going to come out and score 20 to 40 points in basically every single game, be brutally efficient, make strides as a ball handler, all this stuff, I think people get a little more hesitant. And that's what that's where the reaction comes from because you're seeing the strides year in and I year st- out from Brown. They're going to continue. Not- I would not make the trade. 
It is worth discussing. Bradley Be- Jalen Brown's getting better. Yeah, Jaylen- of course it's Bradley worth Beal has gotten better each of the last five years. He is an absolute yeah. elite scorer and he does it effortlessly he's smooth he's efficient and he can play on and off the ball he is an absolute stud to not even allow people to have the conversation without calling them idiots means you're an idiot okay that's all it is <laughs> but that, so, that's the world today john that's, Jesus. that's the world we live in you're it's a totally to reasonable day. conversation right jimmy yeah that's it it. Is. I mean, you're right. It's, to- it's totally reasonable. What, whether, like you said, whether you whether you want to do the deal or not, or whether you admit that it would take extra picks to whatever it, whatever it would be to make it quote unquote even, it's not a slight at Jalen Brown to kind of throw it out. You're talking about trading him oh. for the leading scorer in the NBA. You're not saying yeah. to dish him for a prospect. You're not. You're going. That's not what here, Goodman right? said, I, though. I, I think the only reason you, you see it as a slight, Bobby, is because you're seeing it as, oh, he's not good enough, you know? Oh, just, you know, break up these two because it's... it's like, do you see it like that? That's the, the That would be the thinking behind that deal. You're not upgrading and making a move that's going to make you substantially better. You're looking at Brown and Tatum and saying, oh, these guys can't work. We have to mix it up somehow. We have to you bring could. in Tatum's friend to placate him. Yeah. One which of could, two which things. could very well happen. That could be a thing, that could but happen. the other thing, the other situation theoretically could be that uh, just simply, do you think Brown is it, it, Bobby? You think Brown's ceiling is higher than Beals is now? If you don't, uh, there yes, it you is. can, and, and if it, it is, is, then you, that, it is. Then you don't. Hey, make I've the said trade. all year long, and I'm I don't. Not, I'm still I don't not convinced. Hey, I'm still not one hundred percent. I might be ninety percent. I'm. You know, we've seen the early things from these guys, but who? Who's saying that Tatum is absolutely going to have the better career than Jalen Brown? Can you say that definitively? No. Definitively? But I, 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 not I definitively, think, but I, think I feel so pretty good it. about that, though. I take that bet. Yeah. I take I, the I, bet, probably. I, I, I think that's, I, I think, think but you can't say it for certain. He could if be more Jaylen, top five than Jalen. If Jalen Brown ends up as good as Bradley Beal is now, I think that will be a, a, an absolute, that'll be a great what if, development. What if Brown okay? got. 25 30 shots a game like Beal does he doesn't he gets 22 and brown gets 18 okay so it's, see, a four, Bobby, it's, a, it's a four shot difference they're both incredibly efficient scorers there really isn't a way you can knock Beal to make the jalen argument you have to just simply say you, right, right, you you know you have to just simply say you think his all-around game is going to be able to transcend what Beal does but Beal does a lot and i just don't think he's actually no, properly rated He's not properly yeah. rated. He's a phenomenal player. So it's not an insult to Brown at all to right. suggest you trade yeah. him for that. Well, this is why people freaked out. Goodman said Brown and smart for him. Brown and Ross. He was just willing to toss whatever out yeah, there. You talked about picks. You talked yeah. about picks. No, he threw, in, he threw well. in Rob, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, no, it was a very aggressive offer for a guy that you know, I love Beal. <laughs> it's a very aggressive offer. <laughs> <laughs> I love Beal. Well, it depends on I, I just think you, know how you, need, you need to make this a big three. You can't right. be swapping out. That's Brown and ideal. Tatum. Yeah. Of course, you would rather bring Beal in without trading Jalen Brown. That's a duh. You know, yeah. but I think the reality is you can't, in order to make a big wave, you might have to break those guys up. And if you're going to do it, why not go get this guy who's best buddies with Jason that might be able to play and compliment him better than Brown because he can also play off the ball and he can distribute a little bit better and they're pals. And maybe that's the key. That's his that rationale. That could happen down the line. I think it's, it's not, way too early. It's not, asin- yeah. it's not a ridiculous rationale. It's not. I, I think That's it's the, way it's, too it's, early it's, to condemn. Uh, I'm just always it's worried. The same, it's, it's the same thing that we, we started, you know, just the idea that, you know, let's talk about Brad as, as maybe he's not the right coach. Just the idea of that had people screaming at the top of their lungs a few months ago. And now, you know, it's, it's less of a crazy discussion. It's the same thing with, you know, Jalen Brown for uh, Bradley Beal, for example. It's like, you can have the discussion. It's not out of the realm of possibilities. It's it's okay to talk about, well, you know, where's his, what's his value at? You know, why would his, why should this work? Why shouldn't this work? And it's not that crazy. People in Washington, people in DC might be saying the same exact. They'd be thing like, I would experience. never trade Bill for Brown. Right. If, you're, if you're the Wizards yeah. right now, I bet you a Wizards chat room right now would be like, never would I trade Bill for Brown. So it's I right. mean. And that's what makes these discussions great. And Sherrod, it makes me think back to remember when we did this at NBC, when we did the hypothetical trades the year they drafted Tatum. Awesome. The best thing about those was no matter what we pitched, people were just as angry on both sides of it. It yeah. was like, you know, 
you, the Celtics are giving up way too much. And the other side would be like, we would never do that deal. You know? So that's, what's funny about it. Mike, I, I bet you, if you told Washington right now, Beal for Brown, would you do it? They'd be like, never, you know, or at least, or it, at least Wizards think, fans. Yeah. I think not the Wizards to, organization. Right. I think if it came to the point where Beal wanted to leave though, is there a piece around the NBA that they would, you know, that's a different conversation. Not the organization. Would the fans want to do it? If you're a Wizards right. fan right hey, now. I know, I know Rockets fans are still furious. They don't have Brown over for Harden. Like yeah, that was who they, they wanted. Well, yeah. But they, they knew up, Harden They got a gone. bunch of rocks. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. So yeah. I would absolutely, I mean, be pissed about that. Hell yeah. yeah.